Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. In this video, we'll be talking about a common problem in children, which is pleural effusion. Our lungs and our chest wall is lined by a thin membrane, which is called as pleura. In between the two pleura, there is a small amount of fluid, which is called as pleural fluid. The function of this pleural fluid is to lubricate the movement of the lung inside the chest. Sometimes the amount of pleural fluid starts increasing and this situation is called as pleural effusion. So here we will discuss what are the causes of pleural effusion in children, what are the symptoms, how we diagnose it and how we treat it. So the common causes of pleural effusion in children are infections of which the most common is bacterial infections of the lung or also called as pneumonia. So most children will have pneumonia and will have some amount of pleural fluid or pleural effusion. The other common cause of pleural effusion in children, especially in India, is tuberculosis. Vital infections of the lung and atypical infections like mycoplasma can also lead to pleural effusion in children. There are other causes of pleural effusion which are not as common. These could be heart problems or congestive heart failure, nephrotic syndrome, there could be rheumatological problems like juvenile idiopathic arthritis, systemic lupus erythromatosis or Kawasaki disease. And there are rare causes of pleural effusion which are like malignancies like leukemias, lymphomas etc. So, what are the common symptoms of pleural effusion in children? Now when there is fluid inside the pleura, it pushes on the lung and that leads to difficulty in breathing that leads to fast breathing and that leads to chest pain. Now, in addition to these features, sometimes the lung would collapse because of large amount of fluid in the airway and that can also lead to problems. The primary disease which leads to pleural effusion can also lead to symptoms like fever, weight loss, cough, etc. How is a diagnosis of pleural effusion made? So usually if a child presents to us with respiratory symptoms, which could be fever, which could be cough, chest pain, difficulty in breathing, we need a detailed examination of this child. And if on examination it suggests that pleural effusion can be there, it needs to be confirmed. The usual confirmation is done with a chest x-ray and ultrasound of the chest. Now, if we determine the, the pleural effusion is there, then usually we would need a small amount of sample to be drawn and that needs to be tested in the laboratory. This can be done by inserting a small needle in the chest and this process is known as thoracosynthesis and this can be done easily under local anesthesia. The fluid is sent to the lab for bacterial cultures specialized tests for tuberculosis including uh, molecular diagnosis by gene expert testing and it is also tested for amount of cells, proteins, sugar and other things. How is pleural effusion treated? So it depends on the amount of pleural effusion which is there inside the lungs and it depends on the primary cause of pleural effusion. So usually children with bacterial infection would be given antibiotics children with tuberculosis will be given anti-tubercular drugs. Now, in some situations, if the amount of pleural fluid is large, it might need to be drained either with a needle and aspiration or occasionally if it is pus inside the pleural fluid, we need to put in a tube inside the pleural cavity to drain pus. So, if your child is having any symptoms suggestive of pleural effusion or pleural effusion has been detected on an X-ray or ultrasound, do get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist for further management and treatment. 